Today, I'm gonna show you how to create your first CDI bin. And why? Because I discovered that this is the second most viewed post of my blog. So there are a lot of people searching for this. So let's get started. Hi, my name is Adam Moraes, and if you want to learn more about Java, microservice, containers, and other cloud native related stuff, make sure to start by hitting the subscribe button and activate the notification so you won't miss anything. So here I have the, the of course I will start my project by using Quarkus because I like to be productive. And Quarkus gives me this page where I can build my first project not from scratch, it's totally from scratch. So I can have here uh, my, my first structure of the code. So uh, I won't, I'm not, if you never went, came to this website, it's code.quarkus.com where you can, for example, if you are using Maven, you can inform the group ID and artifact and choose all these extensions. So there are a lot of extensions. Today, we are just using CDI. CDI is already available on um, Quarkus, so we don't need to add it. So we, we are just creating a plain new project here. So let's download and I have here, uh, First CDI project. Let's jump to um, zip, zip first, okay, code first. Okay, so here we have our project open on VS Code. First, you need to understand what is CDI, and I will change my camera here so we can talk closer. CDI means context and dependency injection. So make it very simple and this is this video is very simple because we could talk about cdi for hours and hours and uh, cdi will manage the instance of some being for you some object for you so instead of you create the instance and manage that instance cdi will create that instance for you you will delegate the responsibility of managing the instance of some object to the server. So that's what we are going to do right now. In here, I'm going to create a, another class for our CDI. We'll call first cdi.java. And first we need to define what's the scope of this uh, dependency that I'm making available. So we have basically Requests scope it and application scope it. How you make it request? Okay, so anytime that I request this object, it will create another instance. And here we can create a public thing get, get first and uh, return hello. All right, so this is my first CDI bin and it's already available on the context of this application. So how can I use it? I, I come here to this endpoint. It's a JAXRS endpoint. If he, this is context and dependency injection, I created the dependency and now I will inject the dependency. So I ask to the server, hey server, please inject something. And what is that? My first CDI being, all right? So pay attention that I'm not in, uh, using new instance, I'm not in using anything to create the instance because I will not manage the life cycle of this instance. Who will do that is my server. Okay, so I just copy here and here return first get first. All right, simple like that. Let's try it. So we go here our first and when you use the Quarkus we can we have we have a plugin for Maven that we can use Quarkus dev this plugin will compile my project and start the, the project so it can be available for me and anytime that I change and make any change to the code it's already available almost instantaneously so we can open another command terminal here and just do curl local host 8080 
hello hello cdi we can uh keep it running so let's just while through do clip be done okay it's calling so we can one one very interesting thing about quarkus is uh, we can update this application and it's already available for me so cdi with quarkus and boom is available okay so that's it very basic very simple you can create your own uh, objects using cdi so you can have all these dependencies management in your application much more easier than you would do if you were doing it by your own hands okay so i hope you enjoyed if you are not subscribed to this channel please make it right now and give a thumbs up if you enjoyed if not put your comments right here and put your comments if you liked as well okay see you next time bye bye